again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery with a 14 by 14 inch canvas and some maiden black paint that is obviously clogged. Good thing I have two bottles handy. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how I do my edges at least twice. And maybe more. Come on out. The reason I wasn't using this bottle is it was almost empty. And it'll probably make a mess in a second. So I'm going to go whoop. Same thing over here. And then I will use some Chantilly lace in the center and put my colors down, which in this case, being it's a swipe and I've done a successful turquoise version and a successful red version, I am kind of chomping at the bit to do a purples version. I don't mind if there's some spare paint on the canvas. I am going to try, you know what, I'm going to facilitate time because I am a little late in the day and I can hear that dinner is almost ready in the kitchen. And I'm going to pull the threads out. Seems like a good idea to me. And put my Chantilly lace right down in the center. And think that that is probably enough. I can hope so. I'm going to grab an OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula. My favorite tool of choice for spreading paint. And it is on my Amazon link. My Amazon link is under show more. That is some pretty thick, very heavy, slow moving paint. So I think I'm going to aid. I'm going to facilitate the motion and spread some. I don't believe it makes any difference if there's some black in there at all because it's not about the white or the black. Those are just colors that are going to help. Yeah, oh great colors. <laughs> They're just colors that are going to help everything else move. I'm going to use a bunch of Mayan gold. Move right in with the African Violet, which is an awesome color. Probably going to go from both sides. I want a little bit of Northern Sky. I know I'm going to learn to open those bottle tops. Come on. Got to take the little tab off the top that dries in between. I've got Twilight Orchid, which is an awesome, another awesome color. Might hit this with a little bit of pink diamond. It's doggy 30, <laughs> so you can hear my dogs barking in the background. I love that Twilight Orchid, what can I say? Royal Galaxy. I wonder if I should put a little bit of poinsettia in there. Maybe not. Royal Galaxy is somewhere in between the Twilight Orchid and the Rose Violet that I'm going to use next. I want to sneak a little bit of Blue Velvet in there because it's so close to a purple shade, really, and I just mixed some. And I really don't think I can do any harm at all by putting a whole bunch of pink diamond. Because it will obviously turn purple. It'll just be a pinky purple. Come on out. I have a tab. Whoa. Okay, that was not the plan. It's there now. Oh well. <laughs> So I have some Chrysocolla, and I know for a fact that when you put the Chrysocolla with the pink, you get a really beautiful color. I think I'm done with that. 
I wish I had opened this bottle of Maiden Paint. It can't take me too long to clean it out. It's probably just a poke away. I wish I could find out if it was clear. Yes, I can see daylight. <laughs> I am going to use my AXA Omelette Turning Flip and Fold Special again if I have this screwed on correctly. Let's do one side. Just use it to push it right up into that paint quite easily. Hopefully I have room to flip my turntable around and use my residuals on the other side. There's a fairly nice layer. Enough to like share with that much space. I think I'm going to use my Dioxazine Purple from Hobby Lobby, which is a Master's Touch brand as a cell activator, but also probably with that I have some gold. It's both, both of them are added to um, Aussie Floatrol. Fill in. Yes. All right, I'm going to knock that spatula right off. Wipe it off. Don't know why. <laughs> Maybe because I'm using the purple and the gold. There's the purple. The gold is golden iridescent gold in a fluid. And to it, I added Decort Americana 24 karat gold because I wanted something to be slightly heavier. I think I'm going to go from the side that is obviously wider. I want to blow that into position. Why do I want to do that so badly? I just don't want any gaps. Do I want one more pass? Kind of do. Not sure you can have too much purple at this point in time. Did I put any of the frozen in? I kind of want to. I think I put Northern Sky in. I don't think I put Frozen in. But blue and, blue and pink will make purple, so... Alright, I want to make sure I have this on the correct side. I'm going to go from the center. If I make a straight pattern, so be it. I want a scrape dish to facilitate using my colors if I want them again on the on the side. I kind of want to do some white, but I like the purple, so I guess I better stick with what I started with. I gotta remember, I don't mind the black background, so if I decide to leave some, that's not the end of the world. All right, so I am here. <laughs> like in you are here. You are here too. I'm a little weird. It's getting late. Yeah, I'm doing it. Start with the gold this time. Try it in reverse. I have to make some pink cell activator. I just do. I think that would be the bomb. Yes, I purposely went outside my, my straight line because I just thought it would be more interesting. Well, I definitely like the gold last. Let's scrape that off first. And I don't think the pink hurt anything because I'm not seeing much of it. 
So if I do this again, I'll do, do one that's more pink and purple. Now I'll just do what I was doing. You know, I've never tipped one of these yet, but I do tend to run my spatula through. I don't want to destroy any nice cells, but I also like the way it looks when I break up the center. Someday I'll just pour everything I scrape off right back on. kind of want some orange in there. I wonder how that would go. <laughs> oh, I'm liking the, the miscellaneous designs down the center. Yes, that'll fill back in. I'm not worried about it. If it drags some of the other color into that zone, it's okay with me too. I think I could have used a whole bunch more pink and more of that um, frozen, that electric blue. But by the same token, I am loving what I'm seeing, so I'm not complaining. This one is always a step to the next one, in my opinion anyway. I'm going to take my residuals on this side and put them right on the edge. I do use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my mixtures so that you can be sure if I have an opportunity to keep things from cracking, that would be the ticket. That's what keeps my paint from cracking when I leave it heavy. And it is a little heavy right now. I'm still working on getting used to the exact depth paint should be. if there are colors hidden under there. I think blowing through, oh yes, I like that. This is something I used to do a very long time ago. And very successfully. Oh, this is getting prettier by the minute. Wow. I'm not saying that I had to blow with a straw because I really think the truth is that it was going to just keep developing anyway. But since I didn't do it the last couple times I did this, I really wanted to see what it was going to look like. Kind of like that part of it's really dark and one of it's part of it's really lighter purple. That's lovely. And I'm going to take some of my dark paint and put it right over here because that's distracting me. That white spot. And look at that. That's a beauty. All right. I love you guys. I hope you come again. I post seven days a week, or at least for now, I post seven days a week. I've got that paint and it's on my spatula and it's just calling me. Use me. Use me. Yeah, I know I'm weird. Um, so please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching the commercials once in a while. 30 seconds is all that's required. Don't, don't torture yourselves. But um, that's helpful. Your comments are always helpful. Especially because they keep my morale boosted. <laughs> for sure, for sure. So what have I got over here? Yeah, I've got enough paint on my little spatula. I'll wait and do that after. I'm going to torch now. So I want you guys to check under the video for the 20% off color art coupon code. I'm going to try and get my phone over here and shimmer this at you and do a close-up. I'm really happy I decided to do the purples version. I'm noticing which colors I like that are highlighting things in here and I will be modifying my next version of this to include more of them. So let me grab my phone.
How gorgeous is that? That is just gorgeous. Let's see if I can do a spin. Let's see if I can zoom in a little first too. Look at those cells. Beautiful cells. I see one little spot that's gonna bug me if I don't change it. There, I like that better. Okay, so I will be, wow, a naked spot. That's amazing. I can't believe anything could stay naked after all that. Hopefully you can see some of that. That is some gorgeous shimmer. Wicked, wicked, wicked sparkly. <laughs> Let me see if I can zoom in any more for you guys. All right, I've got a few minutes to tell you guys stuff. And stuff is... There is a monthly drawing that helps support the production of videos at the studio by donations through PayPal. And you can find the PayPal icon on the bottom right hand corner of my YouTube channel banner. And you can see the prizes for that drawing that happens on the first day of the month at the beginning of the exhibition video that should be attached to the end of this video in the last 20 seconds on the end screen. What else can I tell you? On my link tree you'll find Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook groups, I love how that Frozen came through in the middle. I was so right to go back and add a little bit more of that. Woohoo! I'm not even sure a little bonfire, which is very coppery, coppery red, wouldn't have... Uh, maybe purple one. Purple and bonfire. That would be awesome. This just makes me want to do more. <laughs> so there's a nice series of these going. And I, I sold the first one I did. And I almost sold the second one, but I'm pretty sure it's going to go to the show in March. Um, my Amazon link is also in the link tree. I'm blathering. And uh, it has my two books, Because I Can and Unlimited Possibilities, which are the first 100 and second 100 videos for YouTube, all the tools, all the processes and pictures of the finished product. I can't get over this. I'm in love. <laughs> I think a little more pink. I want to put pink in right there. Maybe I should just control myself. Do another painting. I give lessons at the house in the Spring Hill. In, at Spring Hill. Mm. I give lessons at the house at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the studio. Wow. That distracted just lost her mind completely. <laughs> uh, when you watch my videos longer, you help me out. If you're looking for my paint pouring recipe, it is underneath the video under show more, along with um, all those other things. If you are looking for my community board to find out what tomorrow's video is, you want to go to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you have questions, please feel free to ask. And uh, I do sell my artwork, and it would be very helpful to do so. So if you like what I do, don't forget the thumbs up. Just, oh, the cells are just developing just so pretty. I have a plan for another one of these, and it's going to be relatively soon. All right, I love you guys. I want you to take care of each other, take care of yourselves. I'm sure I'm forgetting something. It feels like I'm forgetting something. I'm just not sure what it is. Look at those cells. My camera's out of square. Of course it is. So is my brain. All right, you guys, I'll see you and on. I post seven days a week, and uh, I've ha I'm having Midnight Mystery Theater until the end of February 20, uh, 2022 at midnight. Uh, so regular, my, the good stuff's posted around noon. The um, sometimes questionable stuff that you might still learn something from is posted at midnight. And if you're a night owl, that ought to help you out. Whatever I forgot to tell you, you'll see in another video. Um, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links are on my link tree. My Legalers clothing is made in Montreal, and it's uh, designer style investment quality with all my patterns and all my designs on it. If you want to see something that I have created added to um, Brain Cramp, Fine Art America, Pixels.com, Society6 is on the link tree too. They're awesome. And... Um, Anything else that's on the link tree? Oh, spring clothing under the video. The if you click on any of those, it'll take you to my spring store. Anyway, I love you guys. I'm going to go now before I get into more trouble. See you anon. Priscilla out.